excited to see them in real life. I've been here since 8.30 and about queued for three hours. I spent about 450 and then I got two hoodies, one shirt, the light stick of course. My boy was Misa, she's the best dancer. Oh my, all I know. Sorry to say this. Jenny, love you very much. I've been sending you since your debut. We love Blackpink! K-pop has exploded globally. In this tiny island state alone, at least 36 K-pop concerts were held in 2023. That's an average of three gigs a month. You know, I do love binging on K-dramas and eating ramyeon every now and then, but I never actually got the hype of K-pop myself. Just how obsessed are we with K-pop and what's making fans hooked on it? He may have served you a burger at McDonald's or delivered your meal as a food delivery rider. These side hustles fund production operator Mohammad Raimi's K-pop passion. I've been a K-pop fan for 15 years. I'm curious, why does he need to go to such lengths for his hobby? Hi, Raimi. Hi, Muna. I got something to show you. Let's come on in. Sure. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Let's go. This is my collection for K pop. Wow. Okay. This is one of my vintage tickets 2009 shiny concert ticket in Singapore. My very first K-pop concert in Singapore. Can I touch it? It's like precious, you know, and yeah. you've really taken care of it. Yeah. Okay. And then this twice much that was most difficult to get. And I literally queued like 25 hours. That's a day plus one. <laughs> what else is there? Okay, so yeah, let me show you. There's one much inside this container here. My family doesn't support me of K-pop too much. So after this interview, I have to keep all these things ready. Why is it that they don't support your love for K-pop? Because they feel that it's a waste of money. Imagine you have to spend maybe $8,000 to $10,000 a year for just K-pop. What makes you still want to pursue this knowing that they're not too happy about it? Because it's my life, yeah. it's my passion. Nobody's going to stop me. And with your love for K-pop, do you think there are many other Singaporeans who are just like you? Yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> One of my favourite K-pop group is TWICE and my favourite song is TT. 56-year-old Karine Chan is not just a K-pop fan. She also runs one of the largest K-pop merch stores in Singapore. What makes fans like Raimi willing to fork out so much more on K-pop merch? What is the most popular merch here? Uh, photo cards. Fans can purchase these, but you won't know which member you'll be getting. What else is really popular? Light sticks. There's a Bluetooth function, so when you go to the concert, the concert will control your light stick. So if you sit at this section, this section is green, the other section is blue, and the other section is yellow. That yeah. is a whole other way yeah. to get people to And the rhythm of the green concerts. they also can control. Wow, that is amazing. When you got the old version, this one cannot blink, you know. Does that compel people to buy the newer versions of light sticks? Yes, when you got the old version, mm. you find that you are mm, so out of place, you know. <laughs> What else is always a hot sell? Oh, album. Album. Yes. Usually the album, they don't just come in uh, just one version. And every version, the photo cards are different. Mm. The fan will keep uh, buying and trying for a different version. So it's kind of like mystery boxes where you don't know what you're getting. Yes, that's why it's very popular for fans to do unboxing video. If they can get their buyers, the video can go very viral. Oh, yeah. okay. So can we unbox an album? Uh, sure, right sure. Okay, so this is the moment of truth yes. where I will reveal which member I got from this album. Escope. 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 The leader. Okay. The leader. Yes. I got the leader, everybody. This is a photo book. Wow. And this is this lyric. Is the lyric. Full poster. <laughs> what is this? Like a puzzle? And we finally get to the jackpot. The CD. CD, yes. 
So how much would these go for? Uh, this one is $28.50. Do people still have CD players? No, not really. So why do they buy the albums? Because every week there's an album chart based on the album purchase from the fans. So the more you buy and then the chart, you can go to the top. Sales at Infinity K-pop more than doubled in five years. When you buy it, all the money goes to them. So at the end, they will give us better comebacks. If they have a bigger fan base, they have like bigger like you know production for us also. Three, two, one. No way! Who is it? Three. <laughs> Fans spare no expense to support their idols in hopes that their hard-earned cash will produce more top hits, like these. Okay, go for it. Oh, Gangnam Style! Another one? Nobody, nobody but you. Okay. Singaporeans of all ages seem to be very familiar with these Korean numbers. Is it by chance or by design? Thirty-one-year-old Alif Echo is a dancer and music producer. His claim to fame. I'm one of the first uh, Singaporean choreographers to choreograph for an uh, all-boys K-pop group called TXT, Tomorrow Times Together. Why is K-pop music and choreography so memorable? For K-pop music, uh, in terms of the hook, it's really important. Uh, hook is basically like repetition of certain words, certain sentences, and even like melodies. But specifically for K-pop, they have this term called the killing point, which naturally means like something that is memorable. Like, yo, this is this, this the killer part, you know what I mean? The movements are simple enough for everybody to follow and relatable. Like, a certain lyrics matches a certain move. Like, oh my, oh my god, it's like, you know, like, oh my god, it's like how you say, like, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. So they are clever in pairing visuals and audio together to make it their own thing. Because you don't only just listen, but you listen and see. But why do some Singaporeans in particular absolutely love K-pop? Even more than J-pop or Kento pop, for example. In the era of um, like nobody, nobody but you, that was one of the music where they really popularized um, using Korean and English. That's what make it like really popular worldwide. The K-pop industry is also very famous and popular for making dance challenges. They will just do a very short part of the song. 15 to 30 seconds is usually a good duration. Even if they don't purposely make that dance challenge, people from TikTok, from YouTube, will make the challenge for them. That is what we call organic marketing. Fire. This is one of the dance groups in Singapore that filmed their K-pop in public dance challenge outside Marina Bay Sands every single week. Their videos can hit over a million views on YouTube. There's another group that doesn't take dance challenges lightly. I've arranged to meet them. And to show how serious I am, I'm meeting them in my best K-pop inspired outfit. Hi! I'm one of the dance instructors for the day. I'm Shumika. I'm Kate. I'm 14 this year. I'm Nicholas, I'm 13 this year. I'm Emiko, I'm 12 this year. I'm Muna, I'm 35 this year. So, <laughs> big age gap. <laughs> now I'll teach you the first eight counts of the Super Shy. Right. Arms will be like this. Emiko, Nicholas and Kate have each been performing K-pop like dance this. covers for more than two years. In less than two weeks, all three will be participating in a global audition organized by a major idol agency in Korea. Selected participants could get signed on as idol trainees, taking them a step closer to becoming an idol. Are you ready to film the dance challenge, Shuna? I am, sir. And ma'ams. Three, two, one, go. I'm super shy, super shy. But wait a minute, while I make you mine, make you mine. I wanna tell you that I'm super shy, super shy. 
<laughs> Did we ace it? Yes. Alright, look out for us. Come into your hood, this new K-pop group. <laughs> Am I right to say that all of you want to be K-pop idols? Yes! Wow, what a resounding yes! Why is that? I always love to be on the stage and I enjoy bringing joy to the audience. They're colourful outfits, you know, like they're so... They make such a, like, such a great impact on people's lives. Mm. I want to be an like, idol who inspires people as well. Have you always wanted to be a K-pop idol? Actually, no. In the past, I've been very focused on studying. Like, my parents want me to be a top scorer, a doctor, a lawyer. But then I realised that that's not actually what I want. How important is the upcoming auditions to all of you? It's like one of the big four companies mm -hmm. in South Korea. So, like, if you like, actually become a trainee in there, it may have like, more popularity when, like, when you debut. I'm growing older. I think starting young and making sure you get in young it's very important. Typically, in K-pop auditions like the one coming up, you're considered too old if you're above 19. With such stiff competition, how early are some kids preparing for it? One, two, three, four, five, three, two, queen, ka, and ho! Da, 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 spotlight, and da. I'm star, 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 you wanna be my queen, ka, ho! Don't hold it. Good job! They're so good! They're so young! Oh my gosh! Hey guys, can you introduce yourselves? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love K-pop? 100 percent! 10,000. 10,000%? Who is the youngest K-pop fan we have here? Me. Both of you! How old are you? Seven. Seven years old, wow! So, how many of you got your parents to sign you up for K-pop dance classes? All of you, okay! How long have you been dancing? From when I was 3 to 4 to now. When did K-pop dance classes for kids start trending? Probably six to seven years ago when Blackpink first debuted. Because I remember at that point of time when there's Do 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 and Cue This Love, I have parents requesting for private class just for this song. How often do these kids then go on to aspire to become K-pop idols? Definitely. I have a lot. They will be like, I want to be Lisa next time. I want to be Jenny next time. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen an increase in Korean entertainment agencies coming here to yes. set up auditions? This year, there's about three to four auditions. And I have like students coming to me for a private class so that hopefully they can pass the audition. 14-year-old Kate, 13-year-old Nicholas, and 12-year-old Emiko have two more weeks to prep for a major audition to be hosted by one of the top K-pop agencies. Today she catching very well about uh, what she wants and what she needs to show them. I feel like she have a talented. It's the last run already, so I have to put in more effort in my movements. I have to make it clearer and sharper, so it will be like this, not like this, and then the angles must be correct. It's a week before the audition, and our idol hopefuls are pushing the physical limits in pursuit of their dreams. Ah, so many trees, so many fun. Ah.
So Luna today we'll be doing the La Seraphim workout. Okay. So La Seraphim is an idol group and recently their workout has gone viral on live because two of their members said that they could achieve abs in about two weeks by following this workout. Wow! First we are going to do a hundred jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, one, two. The working set is taking forever. <laughs> this is the last set, right? Thirty-five. Yes. Seven, eight, nine. Twenty seconds. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Yes. Huh? Ah, I thought like ten seconds really. And last one. Ten. No. <laughs> Let's go. For the apps, okay? Yeah, for, for the apps. <laughs> Seventy-five. Okay, Yay! we're done! Yay! Yay! Okay, so do I just stay this way? Let's just stay this way. <laughs> yeah, let's just stay this way. <laughs> For a while. How often do you guys do this workout routine? I do it two to three times a week. More frequently now because of the auditions coming up. That's on top of my four to five dance practices a week also. It sounds very, very grueling. So what keeps you both going? What keeps me going is the opportunity to stand on stage. Like if the company wants you to be in good figure, then you should work hard to train towards the good figure. Then there are also many different roles in like K-pop groups. They are main dancer, main singer, main rapper, and also they have to choose a visual. Basically, this visual is sort of like the prettiest in like the group. And usually people like idols who are like in shape, who have abs. I think it just makes yourself look more, look more appealing to the audiences. Nicholas, meanwhile, is stepping up his dance routines. Oh, wow! Ah, I was speechless. I did not expect that. Today, he's joined by his best friend, 13-year-old Cheryl Chia who aspires to be a K-pop dancer and choreographer. Oh. What? <laughs> that was incredible! I feel like a dance mom, like, yes, you're doing great! Hey! Hi. Hi. <laughs> that was incredible! Thank you. Thank you! Did you choreograph that? We choreographed that ourselves. When I watch those K-pop idols, I like imagine myself being on stage like like them. But I think I would prefer to be a choreographer because that is what I love. Why do you want to focus on being more of a choreographer rather than an idol? Maybe because like how I look. I think entertainment companies nowadays are looking for like skinny, beautiful, pretty. Like him. He's a very good example. Uh, ah, thank you. <laughs> you don't think you fit the ideal K-pop idol image. How does that make you feel? Very bad about myself. When I dance, right, usually I always look at like, oh, I look, do I look fat in the video? If I, if I look fat, I won't post it. Does all of that ever make you think, okay, I want to change the way I look? I went on a diet last year and, and oh, I lost okay. 15 kg. Mm. And tell me more about this diet that you went for. Like one month in the morning, I had like apple. And then lunch, I had like sweet potato. And dinner was usually like a plate of veggie. Being a choreographer doesn't require you to have like such good body size. And now I look more on like, mm, like what is, how did I execute a certain move or like, did I improve? And Nick, I want to know about you. What do your friends and family think about your passion for K-pop dance? I'm in a boys' school. So um, boys in my school, like, they are not as open to me liking K-pop because like, they feel like K-pop is more of like a girly thing. As a male, sometimes like, they object. They feel like it's a bit inappropriate but some of my other friends, they like support me too. They can protect me from like um, some negative comments. And do you think you have what it takes to be a K-pop idol? 
male idols, like most of them are expected to have like a height of 180 cm and above. So it's a bit tough for me to get into the industry as well. And then the industry, like they want like special or unique looks. Mm -hmm. So like maybe like you know cat eyes or like, high nose bridge. You must have intricate facial details. You have to be like an all rounder also. You need to be able to sing, dance, rap, and um, do well like in interviews. Mm -hmm. With more practice and progress over the years, maybe I have what it takes. It's finally D-Day of the long-awaited auditions. I'm scared that I'll forget my moves or steps. I'm just trying to calm myself down by taking deep breaths. I'm feeling really exhausted and tired right now because I've put a lot of my energy for the auditions as well as to perfect my execution and my lines. I will try to pretend that judges are friends so that I can be more comfortable and less nervous just to calm myself down. I didn't forget any of my steps and I think I executed the dance well and I was asked multiple questions and asked to sing also. So I think I got a higher chance of getting in. in the halfway point of my performance and then um, the audio stopped so like I had to keep my cool, I had to stay calm. If I were not to get accepted, I feel like my efforts were like wasted and I feel like a bit down also. I was able to express myself with joy and confidence. Hopefully I can receive the notification sooner so I can faster become a trainee. Next week, I find out if Nicholas, Cade or Emiko managed to get through the first round of auditions. And I join idol hopefuls from Singapore in an intensive boot camp in Korea. Training has been very tough and stressful. Could this be the golden ticket to break into the competitive K-pop scene?